In its simplest form, concrete consists of cement, water, and aggregates, or rocks. To meet design expectations and get good long-term performance from the hardened concrete, it is necessary to place the concrete mixture properly before it hardens. That is where workability comes in. Workability of concrete is the property of freshly mixed concrete that determines the ease and homogeneity with which it can be mixed, placed, consolidated and finished, as defined by American Concrete Institute Standard 116R-90. A mixture that is difficult to place and consolidate will increase the cost of handling and lead to poor strength, durability and appearance. This is because oftentimes mixtures are heavily vibrated to compensate for the poor workability which increases the risk of segregation and the risk of creation of low durability vibrator trails due to the air void system being compromised. Additional water is sometimes used to compensate for poor workability, which increases the water to cementitious materials ratio, compromising durability and strength. Construction quality and long-term pavement performance through factors such as initial smoothness and dowel bar position and alignment can also be affected by workability. There are several factors such as aggregate gradation, mixture design, admixtures used, amount and type of supplementary cementitious materials used, and time between mixing and paving operations that can affect the consistency and workability of the concrete. Two factors that have a strong impact on workability are the aggregate gradation and concrete mixture design. Mixtures that are well graded and properly designed are responsive to vibration requiring less effort to consolidate and finish the mixture. That is where optimized gradation comes in. Optimized gradation is a process of proportioning aggregates in concrete mixture design to improve workability of a mixture while maintaining desired long-term performance characteristics. An effective way of optimizing gradation of a concrete mixture is through the use of the tarantula curve. The tarantula curve establishes the target range or tolerance for the combined aggregate gradation for each sieve size based on mixture design for concrete pavement's potential response to paving vibrations. For an optimized graded concrete mixture, the combined aggregate gradation must be within the boundary limits for each sieve size. Testing the workability of the mix design in the beginning and throughout production helps ensure consistency. An ideal workable mixture flows under vibration, but is also highly stable after consolidation. Before admixtures and supplementary cementitious materials were introduced, the traditional slump test was mostly sufficient to determine the mixture consistency. Slump tests are still used today by contractors for purposes of quality control, but they do not provide an accurate measure of workability. The box test is a variation of the slump test that can be used to examine response to vibration, filling ability of grout, and the ability to hold an edge, thus providing a visual indicator of the workability of slip-formed paving mixtures. If it's not adequately consolidated, then you would have honeycombing, delaminations, and you can have all kinds of issues. To perform the test, add unconsolidated concrete to the box and slowly insert a stinger vibrator into the center of the box over a three count. Then remove over a three count. The sides of the box are then removed and inspected for honeycombing or edge slumping. A visual rating of the surface voids and edge slumping ranks from one to four, with one being the best and three or four being considered undesirable. We want to have concrete that's workable enough to work and be consolidated and placed well, but at the same time stiff enough to hold an edge to avoid issues on, uh, uh, from a right quality standpoint. If the concrete mixture passes the box test, then testing is complete. If not, make adjustments to the mixture and repeat the box test until satisfactory results are achieved. Low amounts of water reducer indicate a good mixture. 
If high amounts of water reducer are needed to pass the box test, it is best to change the aggregate type or gradation or make other changes to the mixture, such as increase SCMs. In the last you know, 80 years or so, we've had changes in our admixtures. We, we now introduce admixtures, we have SCMs, and we have all kinds of different aggregates that we're using nowadays. As concrete pavement mixtures have become more complex, additional tests are necessary to help to predict long-term performance expectations from the concrete mix. The Vibrating Kelly Ball Test, or V. Kelly Test, is another workability test that assesses how a concrete pavement mixture will respond to vibration. Like the box test, the V. Kelly Test can be used as a contractor quality control test to guide the design of slip-formed concrete mixtures before and during the paving process to assess any changes that should be made during construction. It can also be used by an agency for approval of the mixture design to meet specification requirements. The V. Kelly Test provides a quantifiable number, or the V. Kelly Index, which is a measure of how workable the mix is. What we are trying to measure is the rate at which the V Kelly, the Kelly ball is actually penetrating into the concrete, okay? So if you have concrete that's allowing the Kelly ball to go into the, uh, into the concrete faster, that means it's a lot more workable than concrete that's not. Workability is typically determined during the mixture design process. With more complex mixture designs, there are many factors that can affect the design to create a workable mixture and result in a smooth ride in the pavement. But we now have newer mixes, or newer SCMs that are being used in these mixes. Our traditional tests no longer can do a good job uh, to characterize those. So you need newer tests. Efficient production and paving of concrete requires workable mixtures. There are many ways to attain workable mixtures. The box test and the V. Kelly test are two tests that can be used to evaluate their workability before and during paving operations. These and other tests are available for on-site demonstration through FHWA's Mobile Concrete Trailer Program.